Hello everyone, I'm Underwood and welcome to the first actual video for the channel. Now because I have a deep fear of copyright strikes, all of the music that you'll be hearing was made by me in Ableton with some randomizers. It's not a lot, but it's something to have on in the background between times when I'm talking or the game is talking. This is the character that I will eventually be playing as, but he's level 3. Today we want to go over character creation and the beginning of the game, so I'm going to make a new character. When you first go into character creation, this is the screen that you see. It's got four different styles of combat, but that's not really accurate. Like, you could be a spellcaster and still fight in melee range. Uh, you could be a specialist and still fight in melee range, or use spells. You can do all sorts of things. Part of what I like about this game is that you can really customize your characters to do kind of whatever you want with varying degrees of success. Now, Iconic isn't necessarily a style, but you've got like this whole list of different things that you can be that are already classes, right? But they're just classes that you have access to. That guy looks awesome. Uh, classes that you have access to back here, right? Today, we're going to make a paladin, because I love paladins. Now, they have these uh, paths that you can choose. They are not necessarily very good, so I would recommend just do customize. And you'll be more invested in your character anyway. Uh, since we're already a human on the character that we're going to switch back to, we're going to do a dragonborn, because they look cool. There are a bunch of other races, too. Uh, just as a note, some people get bonuses to some things and negatives to others. So, depending on what kind of class you're playing, you want to pay attention to these things. Because you don't want a fighter that necessarily has like a low strength or something like, was it halflings? Yeah, so you could technically make a melee halfling that uses strength, but it's going to be a bit of an uphill struggle for you. Not too bad, though. If you really wanted to, you could. So we're going to make a dragon. We're going to bump that strength all the way up. Put the con as high as we can. That gives us more life. And then we're going to put our charisma at a 12. And that'll come in handy later. Alright, next up. Uh, it would be cool if we could do a balance build, but since our dexterity is trash, uh, instead we're just going to pump up that intimidate. We're going to do two-handed fighting because that's easy. And then for deities, we're going to choose Sovereign Host. It doesn't really matter for us which deity we choose. Uh, but Sovereign Host is all of the all the nice ones. Mm. All of the not openly evil ones, I think. Yeah, I don't know much about Eberron. I'm more of a Forgotten Realms person. Now, since we're just doing the first part of the first island, we are going to use white ancestry because it has cold resistance, and that's mostly what we'll be coming up against. So we're going to go with that. And that's all of our three starting feats. This is just a little summary of what our character is going to look like. We have a horrible reflex save and a horrible will save, so hopefully that won't come up too often. Uh, we're just gonna random. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the way this guy looks. We're just gonna make him an ice dragon and call it a day. I think that looks pretty cool. I mean, I hate gold, so let's change those. Yeah, I like that more. All right, cool. Since we're not really invested in this character in the long term, we're gonna call him Holderman. McGuy. Oh. Holderman McGuy. And because it's 3.5 and we're a paladin, we have to be lawful good. That's fine. It doesn't really affect anything in the game. Oh, look at our eyes, though. I don't think I want that color eye. Let's do a nice blue. Yeah. You can barely tell the difference, but it makes me feel better. All right, so there's Holderman McGuy. All right, let's get into it. Here we are, Corthos Island. It uh, 
This is it. You find yourself waking on a shore of flotsam. Memories of a large white dragon striking oh, your wake. ship come oh, flooding back. Dead, are you? Oh, jeez. We're gonna turn off. Turn off these tips. Cause I'm Can you move? Arrogant enough to presume I don't need them. All right. Can you talk? Speak to me. Yeah, he talks a lot. Oi, were you on that ship that got attacked by the dragon? You're the first survivor we've seen, and sailors been washing up for hours. Are you looking for survivors or looting bodies? Oh, that's sassy. Okay. Uh, so if you've done it before, you can skip the initial tutorial, but you can get silver and stuff in the tutorial, which you can use to hire a hireling, which we want. So we're going to go ahead and do it. Also, it's nice for you guys to see. Now don't go blaming a poor rogue for making an, a living. Besides, I didn't take nothing from you. You've got nothing worth taking. That's fair. I have rags. Uh, yes, I seem to have misplaced my belongings. I bet there were nice belongings, too. It's right dangerous to walk around without a blade. For my good deed of the day, I can give you something back at my camp. All right, lead the way. If what the halfling said was true, no one but you made it to the island alive. It may be worth following this rogue. For now. Follow me. Oh, oh. It is an old game, so you'll run into little hiccups like that. Here we are. So you want a weapon or not? Yeah. Here's a weapon for you, but then you do me a little favor. Tit for tat, right? Well, that depends on what you want. Uh, I do want a great axe, yes. Go ahead. Um, Give a few swings. Let's go ahead and equip that. As you take hold of the weapon, feeling its balance, you can't help but notice this Jeets has more he wants to say. Yeah. Yeah, of course he does. We're not really going to worry about that. In fact, we're going to throw it on our third inventory tab, so we're not just staring at it every time. Oh. Got a potion of healing. That'll, that'll come in handy. That's a useful tool that we'll use later. All right, cool. So let's talk to Jeets again. That weapon suits you. So, ready to help me out? You can try another weapon if you want, but I'm happy with this. What task do you have for me? Oh. Oh, ho. interesting. I have no idea what he just said or what I just said. Well, I'm sure Salimus would appreciate any help you can give her, too. And it'll make her less likely to smash my noggin in when I catch up. Very well. I'll go to this cave and help her. Salimus is at the grotto. Tell her to keep her knickers on. I will not. I will not tell her that. She sounds intense. Any more things to, to break? No? Okay. Salinas is in the grotto. I shall show you the way. That guy's awesome. He's got a cool voice too. He's a warforged. He's he's a robot guy. That's that's what he is. I don't know if he's powered by magic or electricity, but we're getting a lot of these health potions. This is all from dragon wrecked ships like yours. Alright. So they don't need it anymore. That's what he's saying. It's only snowing because the dragons rose in the island. So I like breaking things, but if I'm in a dungeon, I kind of don't. It just doesn't seem important. But you know, there's no shame in it if you like doing that. Here we are. Go inside and speak with Salimus. I'll wait here for Jeets. Yeah, that guy's got a cool voice. So normally you can choose between these different difficulties, uh, but for the tutorial, you can only do solo. That's fine. Is this Salimus, the cleric you were sent to find? Sure looks like it. Who in Kyber are you? Don't know who Kyber is. Again, I don't know anything about Eberron. I mostly do Forgotten Realms. Identify yourself. I'm the Paladin Holderman. A dragon attacked my ship, and I alone survived. 
I then met your companions who asked me to protect you until they arrived. Or, alternately, my name is Holderman, and I woke up on the beach to a rogue who most likely took my possessions. He then extorted my promise to be your lackey. That's closer to how I actually feel about that exchange. Ha! <sighs> I humbly apologize for my associate. He has a good heart, even if he does not always show it. I'll help you navigate this cave, which leads to a nearby fishing village. You'll be able to find a hot meal and some work there. Okay. Uh, what exactly are you doing? Is Jeets your friend? Is Talbrin, the awesome guy, your friend? Or... I don't think we really care about the backstory at the moment. And I don't know if we'll ever actually see these people again. So we're going to say First, that sounds good I and lead the way. Her spell temporarily prevents you from dying, though you can still suffer injuries. That's good to know. This effect will wear off when you leave these caves. That's all. That was also good to know. Yeah. This game has a climbing mechanic, which is awesome. But if I had a nickel, if I had a nickel for every jump that I've missed, uh, I'd have a lot of nickels. You hear the shuffling and wheezing of some creature coming from the corridor ahead. I wonder how much the jump skill actually affects your jump. Like, could you just make a character who's really good? The corroded lever at the rear of this corridor most likely controls the gate where the cleric, Salimus, is waiting. Just make a character who has all the jump points. They can jump real high. I wonder if jump has an effect on combat. Job, but no time to dawdle. We come to assist you. Onward to glory. Salimus isn't too honked at me. Thanks for putting in the good word. I didn't. Don't you worry, Salimus. I'm here to watch your behind now. Saucy jeans. Little annoying, kind of endearing. That's how I feel about him. Aura is oppressive. So Wagen are behind this door. I'll take point. Talbron, cover me with your spells. Jeets, kill anything that tries to flank us. You, open the door. She seems very dramatic. What, it's empty? I'm gonna hang out with Talbrin. It would be logical to assume. Gonna be like four waves, I think. A little closer. Wow, it took me forever to hit that guy. Uh, yeah. I think I think Cheats actually got that kill. Not me at all. That's it. Such is the fate of evil. Oh. Now, let's find a way out of here. I, this guy finds the secret lever. I just stepped on something. I see a key down there. Who's that for a swim? Hydrophobia mean anything to you? So you swim down. If you, you grab hold the key, silver key. Time to swim for the surface. So if you hold down the right mouse button, uh, it makes this little cursor appear. And you can kind of control which way you're pointing while you hold down the W key. And that makes swimming a lot easier. Now I'm up. I 
I'm weary. Let's take a moment to rest. So this is a rest shrine. Ah, I still got plenty of stamina. I can go all night long. Oh my goodness. Why don't you scout ahead then? Just don't get yourself in trouble. Now you're talking. I'll take a little peek. <sighs> yeah, rest shrine. So if you're missing some health or if you want to refresh your spells, uh, you can rest at one of these shrines. If someone dies, they'll drop a stone. You can bring it back to this and bring them back to life. We're not going to use it. I'm not worried about it. Crikey. Oi, that's a nasty trap. Lucky for you, I'm here. Lucky. Uh, why is that? Only blokes with rogue skills can deal with traps. That's not entirely true. Blokes like me. Don't you worry, if you really want to, you can find a trainer to teach you rogue abilities. Once you've got enough experience to handle it, that is. Alright, I'll wait while you disable the trap. Yeah, I cannot deal with traps. He's right. Yeah, there we go. You two having fun? We are having fun. Is the it? high priestess should be up ahead. The onus for much suffering rests squarely upon her slimy web. There she is. Oh. Performing some kind of profane blood magic. I will open the door. Prepare yourself. So Ready? her scripted line ended because the next one started, right? They did not give her enough time to finish her own line. Interesting. Got some armor and a ring of water breathing. You and I'll take care of the important stuff. The treasure. The ring will genuinely come up later, but like once. It's it's not that useful. It is just very situationally useful. Our rogue senses are tingling. There's something fishy in this room. Tarso you feel you a stiff draft from somewhere in this room. Perhaps the hidden passage to the village is in here. Uh, secret passage? Go on, open it then. Tidy lasses and pints up the wazoo. Here I come. There it is. The Iconic line. But first, I want to reward you for your assistance. Please come speak with me. We've made it, Holderman. The door ahead should take us out to the village. But before we go, I want to give you something from my stash. And thanks for your assistance to me and fellows this day. Oh. Thank you very much, Lady Vilhune. Vilhune? She never told me what her last name was. I'm pretty positive of that, so I don't know how I know. Which makes me seem very suspicious. Haha! -ha. Call me Salimus. May you always walk the righteous path, Holderman. And the Holy Flame look kindly upon your days and deeds. And to you, brave cleric. Alright, and now we got some stuff. Some wands down here if you're a caster. Uh, dexterity, if you use dexterity, then the rapier is a good choice. Or a longbow. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with his axe. Nice. Stepping out of the grotto, you find yourself in Korthost village. The Sahuagin have threatened this place for generations. Judging from how it looks now, the Sahuagin are winning. However, some hopeful souls still hold out for help to arrive. Randall. Top tier fantasy name. Randall. Now where did you come from? Guess it doesn't matter. I'm Randall, the Traveler. This is Corthos Village, and it's going through hard times. What hard times, you say? Why, why don't you have a look around the village? Find out for yourself. Yes, I made him 
a redneck. Because the only Randall I know is a redneck. And wonderful, but you know. So these little chalices above people's heads, that means that they have a quest. And then whatever this symbol is supposed to be, this little rogue symbol, the leaves, that means they're a trainer for that class. Uh, so I'm going to go find the paladin guy real quick. And he is down here. Right there. Oh, not, not that guy. That guy. There we go. Yeah, I don't have any skill points or anything. So we are going to, in fact, go back up to that lady and pick up that quest that she has for us. I swear to... Siberis? Sure. There's unholy wailing coming from Hayton's family crypt. This is Kaja Bauer daughter. No one wants to check on it for fear of the Sahagan and their croonies, which should be cronies. But what could they want with Hayton's crypt? Oh dear, why won't anyone go down there and see? The Sahagan may have cowed the village, but not me. I shall make sure their evil hasn't polluted the Hayton crypt. Cool. All right, we're gonna go buy a hireling before we do this. So I'm going to go down to this fella, Jevin. Oh, I hear you have good help available. We're going to buy a cleric. Just to keep us, uh, oh, I don't have enough money. I am broke. That's okay. We'll come over to this guy. And hopefully sell a couple things. Oh my gosh, we have nothing. This is the first time I've ever done the tutorial and not had enough money for the hireling. Wow. And look at me telling people to do the tutorial. All right, well, we're just gonna do this on easy mode. I mean, normal, but still. Jacoby Drexelhand. Coming from deep in the crypt, you hear the strange and unsettling echoes that Kaya spoke of. And by the passage leading in, a grim-faced man glares at you. What a jerk. I haven't seen you before. You're new to Corthos. Hmm. Well, you should go back up to the village. This crypt is falling apart. You could trip on some rubble and hurt yourself. The villagers are talking about some strange noises down here. And I'm going to investigate. Let me pass. You're the Crypt Keeper. Aren't you supposed to be maintaining this place? Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. Heh. Who has time for menial chores with Corthos's impending doom? The Sahagan want to destroy the village, and the only safe people are the ones who join their devourer cult. Mark my words, in a month's time... The only people left in Corthos will belong to the cult. Yeah, this guy is definitely a member of that cult. Uh, we'll see, but now I need to make sure there are no cultists in the crypt. Let me pass. Yeah, sorry for that spoiler warning that I did not give you. Strange. Sarcophagi line the walls, but they're broken open and empty. Where did the bodies go? I mean, they're definitely zombies. So, my acute senses feel a draft. You notice it's something strange nowhere. about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you may discover more. Yeah, I did not. Again, my intelligence is horrendously slow. Like, slow. My intelligence is horrendously low. Uh, yeah, as evidenced by me not being able to... Words. Um, yeah. Yeah. That is too bad. Too bad. Oh, they need more corpses. Aha. What were those cultists up to? This bears more investigation. A treasure chest glimmers in the dark passage here. So if you're in front of something, you can just hit the E key and it'll it'll interact with it. Though rusty, this longsword is still sharp. 
It's a slashing weapon, perfect for slicing through putrid zombie flesh that would resist puncturing or bludgeoning weapons. So, um, I'm not going to take this weapon. Uh, it's worse than what I've got, and I can't sell it. So it's just going to be taking up space in my inventory. Unless you really want a longsword, I don't recommend you take it either. There's a Sahuagan in here, performing some kind of ritual. Come, dead son of Korthos, rise. A magical crest appears from the destroyed altar. If you take it with you, it may be useful later. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. So, uh, when I went in there, this little optional bit popped up. Prevent Horus Hayden's remains from being desecrated by undead. So if you break those uh, altars fast enough, uh, you'll bonus. That's nice. Oh, come back. As you slay these foul cultists, take care to keep your own health up. Yeah, that is my health, if you hadn't noticed by now. Another treasure chest. Perhaps the cultists brought it here, but it's yours now. Ha ha! Probably more trash. This heavy yeah. mace is a bludgeoning weapon, ideal for smashing apart skeletons. Their bones are resistant to puncturing or slashing weapons. There's another Sahuagan. It croaks. Craig Wolf Hayton, in life you served the light. But in oh death, God. you shall serve the devourer. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other altars elsewhere in this crypt. Okay, so I definitely missed uh, an optional. Which means I won't get as much experience at the end, but that's fine. <clears throat> the sound effects in this game are top notch. Alright, and there's a rest shrine if you need it. Resurrection shrine if your friends die. Magical doorway. Some stuff to break. So when things would fall out of these, but man, I'm just not having any luck. What is that noise? That was concerning. A chest. It's out in the open and unprotected. And that's probably what the dead cultist by the chest thought. Yeah. Yeah. Acid sprays out of the wall as the gate slams shut. You can just stand back a little. That seems fine. Heavy wooden shield. That's not any use, but maybe I can sell it. I need that. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Can I not? Okay. I can if I use the right button. That was the secret. In the middle of this chamber is an evil devourer altar. Buy it. A Sahuagan rumbles. When the altar collapses, a third crest appears. It glows with cold magic. Aha! Victory! I got that second one. I wonder if I needed all three to get the bonus. Alright, let's see. So if you hit XP, it'll tell you. So 
killed 19 people. Aggression. That makes me very aggressive. Uh, hmm. Yeah, doesn't tell me. Yeah. Okay. I still don't feel like I've gotten much in this dungeon, and that's fine. A magical barrier blocks the way, and behind it, another Sahuagin performs unholy rituals at a devourer altar. This barrier appears linked to three sockets in the wall. If you find the crests to those sockets, it may allow you passage. We did, we did that. Yeah, okay, you fit so. the last crest in place, and the magic shield dissipates. The Sahuagin inside spits out the last devourer altar oh, shatters. Oh, he's still shooting. Your bold action saved Korthos and brought the Sahuagin's fell scheme to naught. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now yours. It's mine! Ring of Reconstruction? Oh, that's probably for a repair. Uh, 34 equipment bonus to repair and rust spell. That's... I'm never gonna... I'm never gonna use that. Holderman McGuy. That's, that's for me. I still don't know what Dragon Shard Fragments are used for. If you could tell me down in the comments, I would really appreciate that. Uh, so after you finish a dungeon, you can just hit finish, right? And it'll let you go back to the beginning. Really useful. I appreciate that a lot. Back when I first played this game, I didn't know that. And I just ran out of everything. Holderman, I was afraid you'd been hurt. Did you look in the crypt? What's in there? Um, you know, you know what's in there. The Sahagan were resurrecting the Hatons, turning their bodies into undead minions. But don't worry, I put a stop to it. Tooting my own horn here. Oh, how horrible. But what about... Did you find Lars Hayton? Was he... You didn't find a trace of him down there. So he could still be alive. Oh, Holderman, you've done me a world of good. Yeah, I, I sure did. All right, so this is an amulet of the brute. And you might think upon first inspection that this is a good choice uh, because it increases your constitution. But it also lowers your intelligence and your wisdom, which were pretty low to begin with. So we're actually going to do inner focus which bumps up our will save, uh, which is pretty much trash at Some this point. Some of the braver villagers tried to stem the Sahuagin tide, but their courage led to naught but grievous injuries. Korthos needs someone with more than just guts. Oh. It needs a warforged. Because they're robots. Uh, let's not pick this up yet. Let's see if we can sell some things and afford a hireling. I would like to trade. Sell. Oh, ho, bam. That's a bunch of stuff. Oh, I don't want to sell that. I will sell this ring. That does nothing. We're going to sell all of our gems. It's kind of like our trash. But the, the dragon shard fragments don't go away. So, like, I still want it. Because I don't know what it does. Actually, let's hang on to those. Nah, let's get rid of them. We don't need them. Nice. That's a lot. That ring was worth a whole bunch. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to get us a cleric. Boop, boop. Alright, alright. So let's equip that. And then we're going to move... Oh, I never equipped my new axe. Okay, alright. That on two. Equip that. We're gonna throw that away. Yeah. And that. Cool. Well, let's chuck those in there. We'll hang on to these. All right. Excellent. You're a dangerous paladin if I've ever seen one. 
but I reckon you got a heart, too, up for helping us poor Corthos folks? Depends. What kind of help do you need? Or, yes, I have been called a champion in my time. Naturally, I must lend my strength to the unfortunate. Or, you presume much, peasant. Your petty troubles don't concern me. Let's just do the top one. See that house yonder north? That's our storehouse, and in the back room, old Lars Hayton put his scrolls. Now the good folks of Corthos need that scroll, so someone's got to go in and get it. I do it myself, but the storehouse has got a wee infestation. Rodents and spiders is all. But here's the kick. Old Hayton put a shield to keep scaly Sahagan hands off his scrolls. Only he ain't around no more to turn it off. But I'm sure you're bright enough to do it. The village storehouse is just next to the town tavern. What do you say? Yeah, okay. Here we go. So this is the tavern. It's got the mug. And this symbol means you can go in there. Uh, we're going to do it on Elite because you get better loot when you're on Elite. And I've got my cleric now. Dust so. and mold fill this ill-maintained storehouse. You can hear the telltale skittering of vermin nearby. All right, cool. Thank you. She's going to heal me if I get wounded. She said so. Now, I am pretty sure that we get a bonus for breaking all this stuff. Or at least that's how it used to be. And I'm wondering if that is still something that happens. No. Break it. There you go. Good job. Alright. So this dungeon ends with a puzzle. And... I've done this puzzle... A bunch so when I finish it I'm going to uh, just kind of do an overshot of it so you can see kind of how you have to have things situated wasn't there a thing over here to kill oh yep there he is That's terrifying. Man, this crate. Is, is this the boss fight of the dungeon? Oh, interesting. Yeah, you're going to encounter some hiccups here and there. But it's still a pretty fun game. And it's free. I mean, I've spent money on it. And I would actually recommend that you also spend money on it uh, if you're planning on playing it for an extended amount of time. This appears to be the main storeroom. It seems the villagers have been preparing for a protracted siege. Now, if you have a subscription, you get access to most of the adventure a packs. A large silver Sahagen emerges oh. from a hidden passage demanding the key. You mustn't let the scrolls fall into Devara hands. Oh, what? My strength has been damaged? That's rude. What is that? How are, what? How long does that take to go away? That's never happened to me before. That's infuriating. Probably because my will save is so trash. Little treasure box. Hey, hey. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Is it one-handed or two-handed? Oh, I need an exotic weapon proficiency. That's so interesting. I've never seen a bastard sword on the island before. Huh. Alright. Well, we got some loot. I feel like my health is pretty low and she's not healing me. Uh, maybe switch to the red one. There we go. 
That's terrifying. Why was she not healing? Alright, I think that's all the boxes in here. I think I'm good to go. Just keep your swinging. Pow! Wow, I had a really hard time hitting that rat. Like, maybe too hard of a time? a thing? I don't want to miss a thing. I'm not going to sing it. I'm going to resist. Alright, we've got the key so we can the unlock this door. The door open, revealing a magical... It appears that the floor in this room can be moved and rotated. 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 Whoever this guy narrating is has such an excellent voice. The lady too, but she wasn't the one just talking, so I didn't I didn't mention her initially. I don't feel like Gary Gygax is going to be a good narrator. I th I think he's going to be real bad. And I'm sorry to all you D&D nerds and to Gary. I never knew him, but I'm going to call him Gary, as though I did. So these puzzles are pretty fun to figure out. And there's the one in like every other dissipates. dungeon. All that remains now is to take and deliver the scroll. Got it. We get we got the ransack bonus. Gives us an extra fifteen percent. It's pretty nice. Oh. Thanks to go away though. Alright, we did it. Oh crap, I forgot to look at the puzzle. That's alright. You guys can figure it out. So this one increases my uh, fortitude saves, which are all right. This one is my reflex saves, and this one is my health. Really, I think my reflex saves are probably the worst. And what I need the most help with. Yeah, there we go. I think we got one more. Yes, Balder the Bold. But before we do this one, we are going to... Ah, we're gonna ah. What is that noise that I keep hearing? Uh, okay. Can we go to level two yet? No. Nah. So I really love Knight of the Chalice, uh, but it kind of leans into um, favorite weapons, and my favorite weapons. Are not a choice in the beginning, but there's an ability that you can get in here. Longsword, battle axe, heavy mace, yeah, as favorite weapons. So you'll get that eventually. So I'm gonna go ahead and start down this tree. That gives me strike through. Oh, but this gives me threat generation. Yeah, it'll be fine. We're gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, yeah, I feel all right about that. The fisherman stooping before you winces as he bandages his leg. What happened to you? It was the Devourer cult. They came and destroyed our Kenneth crystal. We tried to stop them, 
Vogel here was hit pretty bad, and I think I broke my ankle, but we got away with one crystal, just one. We put it in the basement of Corthos Hall. They'll come back for it tonight, and we're in no shape to stop them. I think it's time this cult was given a taste of its own medicine. I'll protect this crystal for you. Yeah, we'll do that. Ah, don't want that. So it's just right down here by the docks. You can just hop in here. We're gonna do elite. Yeah. So we want that favor. Although really. Ahead is the cellar where the Caneth crystal is hidden. Again, we're not super invested in this character. Uh, so we're just gonna try and power through stuff after you this, I guess. You can feel the life-saving heat emanating from the magic crystal Baldar spoke of. But from the shadows approach those who would doom Korthos by destroying it. <gasps> doom. And... Where, where are they? Oh, 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 he came out of nowhere. So we just wait. Just, just wait. Oh, good old fantasy armor. Deeply impractical. Oh, I think he's trying to lure me away from the crystal. And another guy's gonna show up. She knows. Oh, ah, there he is. I knew it. Little jerk. No, no, stay away from the crystal. No, no. Corthos is doomed to an icy grave. Doomed. Ah, what a jerk. He just broke it. Didn't even ask. That sucks. That's all right. We don't care about the, uh, the favor with this guy anyway. That's all right. We're gonna go casual. Let's do it as casual as possible. Ahead is the cellar where the Caneth crystal is hidden. Oh, I need my cleric. To me. Shazam. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted. I'll have to edit that out. You can feel the life-saving heat emanating from the magic crystal Baldar spoke of. But from the shadows approach those who would doom Korthos by destroying it. So, she should be able to, like, one-shot these guys now. Yep, yep, she sure did. My assumption is that she's gonna kill everyone before they can get to me. Oh, look at that. He actually got a hit off. All right, where's the next guy coming from? I'm just gonna climb this box. Oh, wow. Clearly not as concerned as I was last time. This is, this is pretty much nothing. But again, we don't necessarily care about the higher difficulties because we're not favor farming. We're not playing this guy long term. So we don't really even care about leveling up that much. Because you get less experience on the lower difficulties. We've still got five of these guys left. Jeez. One. All right, she got him. She did get him, right? One more guy.
Where could he be? Oh, oh, and you are oh, slain the last cultist, thus protecting the Kaneth crystal and saving Korthos. Yeah, that dude has a great voice. Boom! We did it. Is the crystal safe? Yes, the cultists came, as you said they would. And when they tried to destroy the crystal, I felled them. The village will remain warm. Well, warmish. So, Axe Bane. I don't think we fought anyone that uses axes, right? But it's not just axes. Uh, reduces physical weapon damage taken by four, except from bludgeoning or piercing weapons. So really it's like slashing Bane. Ha, huh, that's interesting. All right, Spear Bane. So that's really piercing Bane. Good braces of assistance. Yeah, let's let's do spear bane. We find a lot of Sahagan. Hero, it is on the people's lips as you walk by. Ooh. Cautious looks have become friendly nods. Then word comes that your presence is requested in the tavern. All right. Well, I guess off to the tavern. This dude has the chalice. I'm glad you're here, Holderman. I've heard of your efforts on behalf of the village. Thanks to you, opportunities have begun to materialize to turn the situation around. There's a traitor here in the village. Someone who's given himself to the cult willingly. Mad as that is. We now know what his next move will be. And that's where you come in, Holderman. The fool is planning to attack the tavern and kill me. But when he arrives with his Sahagan allies, he won't find me. He'll find you. Sigmund Bowerson. Is this another one of those Bowersons? I think I'm starting to see where this is going. Don't worry. My men will ambush most of the Sahagan before they get near the place. But make sure you kill the traitor. Under no circumstances allow him to get away. His name is Jacoby Drexelhand. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Elite. Hopefully we don't die this time. Well, we didn't technically die. We just didn't save the crystal, which is important, I guess. Your waiting bears fruit. This must be the collaborator stepping in from the dark. Jacoby Drexelhand. You again! Oh, oh, he didn't even stay and talk. He just kind of... Deuced. Alright, okay. Alright, oh, there's some more. Yeah. Your mm. stalwart defense gives the Sahagan pause, but you hear more of them gathering outside for a final assault. You Ooh. notice a small chest hidden behind the bar. I sure did. All right, so I think this is the last wave and then we get to go into the cellar. Oh, oh, are we gonna? Okay, there it is, all right. have weathered the Sahuagin storm. Now, after that traitorous Jacoby Drexel hand, he must have fled into the cellar.
Does he have a hat? That's a hard to have a hat on. Isn't here. However, the chamber beyond the secret passage looks ancient, predating Corpos Village. Yep, it sure does. Armor piercing hand axe. That's kind of cool. I have to be level three. Is it one hand? Interesting. Man, I'm not getting much for loot these days. I would talk during combat, but I feel like it's kind of loud. I guess I can adjust that later, but... Three? Three dudes? Nice. I just cut through things. It's pretty handy. Oh, cool. I got a tower shield that I won't use. Awesome. Thanks, Standing Stone Games. Come on. Come on. There. That beastly drexel hand has nowhere left to run. Finish the job. <laughs> Got a couple of Sahagin buddies. Well, oh, he's still going. I thought he was dead. Drexel Ham thought that siding with the Sahagin would save his life. Kiv Nero. Yeah, he's definitely trying to summon an old god. Got him, what a chump. Alright, got a hasty belt of jump. That's, oh, a chance of double shot. That sounds cool. I feel like I still need my will save bump. Alright, cool. So we'll finish that. Turn this in. See what this guy has to say. Sigmund. There you are. I was worried they got you. Did you kill him? Did you kill Drexelhand? Yes. Jacoby Drexelhand is dead. And may he spend an eternity in Kyber's bowels. This is wonderful news, my friend. We have reached the tipping point. At last, we can take the fight to the Sahagan. Thank you close window. Alright, I get a thing. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm gonna go with this great axe. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna go with this... Uh, no. Yeah, we are gonna go with the great axe, because that ring doesn't help me. Your victories have made the village much safer, but only temporarily. It's time to take the fight to the Sahuagin, out in the wilds of Corthos Island. So she gives you a quest, Merla Bower daughter. Daughter of Bower. Hey Holderman, I've heard Da and little Kaja say good things about you. Could you do me a favor? I told Bertram that we had some vintage old Sully's grog in the cellar. I thought we had a whole cask, but the cask is a fake. Da replaced it with a disguised lever. I swear he can be so paranoid sometimes. In any case, could you go to the Corthos Village Pier and help Bertram Sharpwood find some Vintage Old Sully's Grog? Vintage Old Sully's Grog is available only through the DTO store. I will not be doing that quest with this character. Farewell. Alright. 
That was the first little bit of the island. Now, we're going to have a few more quests that pop up out here. And we can come over to this gate. Now we can leave the village. But we're going to save that for next time. Uh, thanks for joining me. And we'll see you in part two.